Welcome, welcome everyone to your what to expect from this lunar eclipse that's coming up on the 15th through the 16th, depending on where you are in the hemisphere. Um, let's get into this, my friends. Okay, how is this lunar eclipse affecting you? What is it activating and what is going on? Okay, and if you're friends like this, please like and subscribe. Let's see what's going on, my friends. First card coming out is Sirius Star Blessings. It's the big yes card. Perceive, be seen, push through everything, don't stop, right? No time to stop now, my friends. Gotta go, go, go. Um, the next card coming out is the Divine Matrix. Interconnectedness, synchronicities, and God incidences. This is very interesting because if you are seeing any kind of uh, synchronicities at this time, just remember that that is the divine trying to catch your attention for any kind of transformation or any kind of message that's going to help you during this lunar eclipse time. Lunar eclipses are based upon reflectiveness of you know what we are doing and pulling pulling energy of emotions through us. So it does you know hit a lot of your intuition, the same as the solar eclipse does as well, really bringing out that, you know, that divine kind of energy um, that we always see within a, within an eclipse. So let's see what's going on over here. We're going to use some moon cards. Okay. Bringing on some big changes within your inner and outer lives. That's really, you know, what an eclipse is really doing. Um, and it's actually giving you kind of this insight to what's going on and allowing you to heal and do other things within your life that really transforming. Okay, so you'd be surprised what kind of things can actually happen during a lunar eclipse. <clears throat> Let's see. Take a reality check, full moon in Capricorn. So it's definitely giving you this reality check at all. You know, all of the lunar eclipses do this. All of the full moons do this. This is a place of self-reflection. So it's definitely allowing you to look around and say, hey, you know what, this and that. Um, but the difference that within actually this lunar eclipse is it's actually kind of feeding it to you, right? It's not something that you actually want to do all the time, but it's something that it's making happen. That's kind of the difference between the full moon and then having it eclipse because when we have that eclipse, we're bringing in that sun energy with that moon energy and it's force feeding you this reality check. So if you feel like you have these pulls and strains and you're starting to realize different things are going on um, and it's just kind of clicking and then there's where the synchronicities are really coming in as well. Wow. And that's just really trying to get your attention. It says open up to the change. New moon in Aquarius, it's saying, because I want you to change. I want you to open up. I'm throwing these things at you because I want you to understand what's transforming within your life and how you can help transform these things. Whoa, look at how high this candle just got just talking about this, my friends. How crazy is that? It's almost kind of scaring me that it might catch fire. <laughs> I have never had a candle do that, so, okay, that's crazy. I don't know what's causing that. That is Okay, but um, focus on the positive. Um, so we want to be really positive about the situation. Um, you know, we don't want to bring in any negatives. Don't allow any negative to come through. There's no reason for the negative. We just want to really make it shine and really make it, you know, come together. Um, you know, and when you're actually taking this reality check, because then you could say, I see the negatives about the situation, but I don't need to feed the negative. I will just take it how it is, right? And we will just kind of go with the flow and allow it to be the way it needs to be, right? Because this will make you feel good about yourself. Last quarter moon in Taurus, and we're in this beautiful Taurus season, you know, with all this Taurus energy. This is the full moon, you know, of Scorpio coming through. So, you know, you're you have the, the love with the transformation coming through, right? And that's what this is all about. This is about the love and the love of yourself coming and really nurturing yourself through this beautiful transformation. And the divine really wants you to understand this is the time. Remember, friends, we're getting ready for Mercury retrograde. I know, I hear the sighs. Oh, no. Right. But we do it every year, right? 
Sometimes it affects us, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on how it is, right? Depending on what we need to release, releasing the blocks. And this is what it's saying. It's saying first quarter moon in Scorpio. Look at that, that's crazy. I just said we're in Taurus season with the full moon in Scorpio, and here comes the cards saying this is because this is the time to be proud of yourself, nurture yourself, love yourself, so that you can release the blocks for the transformation, right? And this is going up underneath it, open to the change, and focus on the positive. This is taking the reality check to be proud of yourself, under, understanding what it is on your journey, you know? These are the way things go, right? Our soul wants to, us to understand things. The divine wants you to understand and know that you are loved. Very, very important. New moon in Libra. You are loved, my friends. So let's get some cards underneath these and see what the heck is going on. Like, like oh my gosh, how amazing is that? And with the star seed, don't forget about that because we're pulling through. Remember, we have the serious star blessing. We're pulling through. Complete blessings and transformations happening around you. Right? synchronicities to make you understand this is where you were supposed to be. I want you to feel the divine blessing at this time. You're having a beautiful transformation. Look at that. Beautiful transformation coming through. Pluto energy, once again, that scorpion energy falling through, saying this is where the transformation needs to be. I want you to have this. Please follow through for the harmony and the peace. Actually, I'm going to kind of put them together because it kind of feels like they're together because it's almost like I want you to be proud of yourself so you can bring harmony within yourself. Because this is all about self-reflection, right? Because it's, it's the moon. It's not anybody else. It's about yourself. So that you can feel good about yourself. And when we feel better about ourselves, we feel better about other people. Right? True love starts within ourselves so that we can love and adore others. We feel like we could love and adore others even without having self-love. But in the end, them knowing that you don't have self-love really affects the relationship. They know that you love them so much, maybe even more so than yourself. But in the end, it ends up ruining it. It can, right? Because you have all these negative thoughts towards yourself, which brings in this negative. So we want to make sure that we stay very positive, right? So, you know, and it's crazy like that. This is going to open up this change. Opening up to the change is going to open up this firm foundation, saying now you have the firm foundations. You have the stability. It's bringing in all of this stability, all of this firm foundation, all of your root chakras coming together for better. When you focus on the positive and you're opening up to this change with all this self-love and bringing all this harmony and all this releasing all these blocks and releasing things that are not good for you, Understanding who you are, where you are, and that everybody loves you and you're loved no matter what. Not everybody on the planet does, but you know what? It don't matter. Don't worry about them. Right? Worry about what's important. What's important is knowing that the divine is loving. Your ancestors love you. Your soul loves you. There's so much things that are different. Maybe we look for human recognition, of course, because we're human. Too much, though. The way we lose ourselves and this beautiful lunar eclipse will come in and to find you who are you really find you really open you up so that you have the better rewards and recognitions throughout the whole situation and then this will bring in the more rewards this is where the money comes in this is where the job promotions this is where the true stability of life the true love the things that you truly desire the things of your sacral chakra that you truly truly desire really start coming through, then your creativity will start busting, and the next thing you know, you know, if you're a creative person, you won't have any more writer's blocks, no more painting blocks. Truly opening up your chakras for your higher selves, really getting those wheels moving so that you can just become one with the energy within yourself, having no more mental conflicts because it's not needed. They're not needed at this time. I'm just going to let them go because all it does is stress me out. Because once you open up, you're going to realize that a lot of the things that you're probably worried about, not all of them, but a lot of them are useless, holding on to useless baggage. This will allow yourself to balance yourself during this time. And this is what this all this pull and all this thing is. It's saying, I want you to dig deep within yourself. Remember, that was the first card coming out, was the reality check. 
remembering what the importance of everything really is. A lot of things that we hold on to are skeletons and causes of uselessness. Useless emotions that keep us and hold us back from our life's journey and will allow us to actually find the stability and the things that we really are manifesting and really want. So this will make the chariot come and really accelerate everything you're putting together into actual movement. And it's saying it's on its way. It's on its way right now. The accelerated motion is already on its way. You already feel it. You feel the tug. It's coming. And here it is. It's booming. It's booming. And the more you stay positive about the situation, you say, I'm not going to allow that to happen. I give that away. It's, I don't want it anymore. It holds me back. It's just stress that I, you know, either I can't do anything about this. A lot of the stress that we have, friends, is things we cannot do anything about. That's why it's stress. Because it's one of those things you hold so tight that you want to be able to do something about, but you cannot. But you're holding tight to something that you have no control over. You need to let go of that. And this will bring positive movements forward because it's bringing that chariot in. And it says during this, this new, <clears throat> excuse me, this, um, this new moon within this lunar eclipse also brings in all these beautiful things. What a beautiful, <laughs> what a beautiful eclipse season we just had anyways, right? Straight from a solar, straight to a lunar, really washing away karmics, really washing away things, bringing in new energies. So you really want to coincide with really what it is you really truly want. Really dig deep within the reflectiveness. Allow the moon to be your reflection. Use that collectively to feel the powerful energy that comes along with it. Because it's sending out all these messages and all these signs and all these signals. So that way you can have endings for new beginnings of prosperity, nurturing, fertility. Things that your heart wants. Opening up that heart chakra really digging deep to what you really want and truly need and really keeping yourself on that path. It's going to bring in this huge shift. Like I said, a lot of you probably already feel this shift, especially because we're only days away from this shift happening. And it's really going to give you back the authority of your life. Putting you in a new, you're becoming a new, a new you. It's a, it's a growth. It's an evolution. It's an evolutionary change also for your soul because your soul says, I learned what I need to learn. Now I just need you to let go of it. I got it. And this is going to bring in more awareness. So your psychic abilities and your awareness is going to be super high. Well, we already assume that because you have synchronicities. You can't really see synchronicities and feel like that. <laughs> really? You know what I'm saying? You might not be aware that your, your psyche is so open, but it is. Okay, and so this is just a time to really call to release. That's really what they always really are, so that you can grow and evolve. Make sure that you're staying very hydrated, Spirit says, because you want to make sure that you're very hydrated. Hydrated, you know, it's going to keep you very active, keeping you alive, making you feel fresh, good for the body. And then, of course, go with the flow. As what we already said, release it all, go with the flow. Because, you know, that's going to bring in extra strength within the situation. Wow. And be kind to yourself, my friends. Because we, we know that you're, you know, you're kind to others. But make sure that you have kindness to yourself. And by being kind to yourself is what? Allowing it to go with the flow. Hydrating. Listen to your higher self. Giving yourself back that, that love and that harmony. Resting when you need to rest. Things of this nature. And this gives back to yourself. And giving back to yourself is a very good thing. It also gives you healing. Healing in any ways, whether it's mind, body, or soul. Just think, it, may, it could be all in one. Right? Powerful three within yourself is in the healing process of so many things. And don't forget meditation. Meditation is very good. And if you don't really know how to meditate, just rest. Just rest. Just rest. Allow yourself rest. Rest when you need to rest. 
Oh, what a beautiful baby. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, and enjoy the blood red moon that you're going to see up in the sky. Okay. If you're in certain hemispheres. Okay. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.